let's do some shit. Plan for today is changing the oil in this beast and uh, that pesky water hose right down there because yeah I keep losing coolant it's leaking there so got parts clamps hose oil filter oil Haven't been under here for two years, so examination. Oil pan leak, even though I sealed it two years ago. Poop. And uh, gearbox pan leak, still that a year ago. You can see my problem right there. Coolant pissing out of that holes all the time, so gotta replace it. Hopefully I have the right holes. And then we're gonna do an oil change. The oil filter is right here right up in here pretty easy coolant mess never gets old The hose clamp down there, god damn it. There it is. I'm covered in dirt, coolant, all junk, new stuff. This thing is nasty. You. She's finally done. It's super hard to get to, and it wouldn't go on because I had to heat it up so it would stretch over. I'm not happy how that kinks. This is pretty uh, crappy, but it'll work. Now we just gotta do the oil. So I have to take the hose back off because it was seriously kinked when it was on, it was like this. And uh, I don't think that's okay, so put the old one over it. And would you look at that? Hmm. And even the old one, the original one, GM, it even says like 1992 on it. It looks like somebody cut it with a knife already. So I'm guessing I have to cut this one too. Hopefully it's gonna turn out okay because, well, I don't wanna ruin anyone. I've done everything, all changed. Put the hose back on. I cut a fat chunk off it, so now it kinda fits. And uh, topping off coolant. I'm gonna start it now and bleed it. And I think we're good. Runs good. I've had this really annoying issue with this car for a while now. The locks are really worn, so sometimes they don't open. On the driver's side, of course. Trunk doesn't work at all. Passenger door, passenger door doesn't work at all. So. I've come up with a solution. Q 
keyless entry for Lambos, but it will also work on a Calibra. I got all of this from eBay for like 10 bucks from the UK, so pretty cheap. And uh, I got these keys, so they're not like the chromey ricey ones, I hate those, so we're gonna be installing these into this car. We have all the information you need about the things you can do with this. You can have trunk release, you, you can have vehicle locator, you can have uh, windows rolling down, so that's pretty cool. And also a scheme. But most importantly, guys, how to install this in your car. So, I think we're gonna be using this diagram. There's a two wire motor, and I have the motor installed in my door. It's like aftermarket janky crap. And I removed all the old stuff because I didn't have the remote, so now we're gonna be wiring it back. And basically, you have to connect all the other wires to negatives and positives, and then the two wires to the motor. And then pretty much, when you press lock, it's gonna close the motor, and when you press unlock, it's gonna unlock the motor. So, pretty simple. We'll be installing this somewhere under here. First we gotta pull off this panel and connect the motor and then also start connecting inside here. Alright, here's the motor, as you can see, uh, it's a bit ghetto installed, so um, all I have to do is connect these wires, get them in the car, through there, and then connect to the box. Okay, so the motor wire goes into the car, comes out here, that's good. Now we have the wiring for the actual module, so of course black and red wire for power, with a fuse. You don't want to remotely burn your car down. And then there's a bunch of white wires. The first one is accessory. This one accessory. Then we have the wires for the actual locking. So this is what we're going to use in the diagram. These wires. This one goes to the motor. And this one goes to the motor. The other ones are going to go to power and ground. And the other ones for the trunk and windows. We're not going to use those. There's also two wires that go to the blinkers so when you press the button it blinks we're gonna do that so here's the module also we have this LED I don't know exactly what it does so we're gonna plug it in and see and then maybe I'm gonna install it like up here somewhere if it's cool otherwise we're not and this is gonna go like in here behind the fuse box where the old one was where I had it so let's get down to some wiring now we're just gonna follow the diagram, so orange and orange black are negative and yellow and yellow black are positive, so put the yellow ones together, these are gonna be the positives, put the orange ones together, these are gonna be the negatives, then just connect the white and the white black to your motor, so that's pretty simple. Let's solder these up. Varing is almost done, got all the negatives to a ground here. Got all the positives to a positive wire here and uh, plugged it into the box. Got the motor. It works. You may notice it's backwards, so I'm just gonna flip this with two wires and then we're also gonna plug in the blinkers so it's gonna blink when you unlock it. And that's pretty much it. Now I'm also connecting the blinkers, so wires go up to the stalk wires, so one is this one, black and white, and one is this one, green and black, so plug it in, we should be good. So overview one more time. These two wires, not gonna need it. And this first white wire, accessory, not gonna need it. Then put the oranges and the red together, positive, 
put the yellows and the red together, positive, oranges and black, negative, then we have the white and the white with the stripe is for the mechanism, for the motor, if you don't have a motor buy it off eBay it's like 10 bucks. Then browns go to the blinkers, I'm not gonna be using the LED because well it's stupid nobody needs that. And to program the key you just hold this button, then press one of these buttons and it calibrates and that's pretty much it. Now we're gonna tuck this in here and clean this up. Works perfectly, happy with it, 10 bucks, easy install, so thanks a lot for watching this one and uh, throw down some comments, throw down some likes and of course subscribe for more German DIY goodness, mods, whatever and I'll see you later.